working with somebody who not only has a background in bodybuilding and a background in training and a background in athletics, but you're working with somebody who has the mindset of an athlete and is ready to execute it from the minute he walks in the door to the minute he walks out of the door. My name is Gunnar Peterson. I'm a personal trainer. I've been in Los Angeles for 22 years, training anybody and everybody. The people that, that I'm lucky enough to work with work hard. They, they bring intensity to it. It's not an accident that they're at the top of the food chain. At the end of the day, these people are putting in the hours, they are putting in the work, and they're diligent, and they're relentless, and they're unyielding, and they will not be denied, and that's why they are where they are. If this is one of the few things in life that's completely fair, meaning whatever you give it, if you do give it all of that, you will get all that back. I think I have the best job in the world. I like watching people get it. I like watching people catch that same jazz that I caught years ago as a fat kid, realizing, wow, I can change how I look, which changes how I feel, which changes how I carry myself, which changes how others see me, which changes how I see myself, and it all connects. It really does connect, and for me, Everything that goes on in here for me helps me do everything outside of here that much better. And I always tell people, if, if, you, can, if you can take this and the strength, you know, literal and figurative that you gain in here and, and let it loose on the outside world, you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. If I weren't with my kids, this is the only place I'd rather be, really. I've been working with Sly on and off for eight years and uh, seen a lot of different metamorphoses of the physique. And uh, the one thing that's consistent is the intensity of the work and the consistency of the work. The variety of exercises, meaning it, it's constantly changing based on my design, his interpretation of it. We go through a number of different things every single time he's in here. And I'll tell you, there's nobody who puts it down as hard as he does. So I'll have him do, or he'll do, a, a gorilla pull up where he tucks at the top but then we'll add a plyometric component to the upper body. So it's, a, it's, it's like a catch and release tournament. So he's gonna get the pull, plus the tuck. I want it violet, I want it ballistic, I want it release catch. You know what I mean? So what it would look like is, you know, it's not just a standard pull, and it's not just a standard pull, gorilla pull with a tuck. It would look like that with the catch and release but then I'd have him repeat it. So he'd be going up, up, up. So for your joints, when you're strong enough, when you're comfortable enough with it, that, I mean, you feel what it does for you. You gotta train the movement, you gotta train the joint, and then you gotta train the muscle. You know, Sly's one of the guys who doesn't come in for a movie. He's a year-round guy. He's a, you know, 50 weeks a year guy. And there's no such thing, in my opinion, as maintenance, but we're training constantly striving to get better, constantly pushing the limits and pulling back when there's a reason to pull back, whether it's injury uh, and the guy's been through, I mean, because he does so many of his own stunts, he's been through every injury from uh, torn calf, broken toe, uh, jacked up thumb, I don't know if jacked up's the medical term for it, but you'll see in the Expendables he has uh, something on his thumb that's actually due to a real life injury that became part of the character because of the injury. The guy's about as close to bionic as, as you'll find out there. You have to take into consideration the costume. What's he wearing in this movie? Is this a shirt off scene? Is this a shirt off movie? Is this a uh, straight up Tommy tank top? Or is this gonna be more button down suits with the occasional uh, forearm flashing? And then depending on if he's training on the day of XYZ scene, you work around that too. He's not afraid to take chances outside the gym. That's somebody who would have no problem eating canned tuna and drinking water for two weeks straight if that's what it takes. And that's why people think, well, he's only training, you know, three to five to seven hours a week. How come I can't get there? It's because if there's 168 hours in a week, take away seven, what are you doing for the other 100? What are you doing for the other 161? Sly will make the right choices 10 times out of 10 outside of here. He understands his body, he knows what he can and can't do, he knows when to pull back, and he'll come in and say today, you know, we gotta watch this, you know, the trap's a little tight, it's a little jacked up, so leave it alone. Over the years of our training, the workouts go anywhere from an hour to two hours. This is not a guy who comes in, works out, and then goes out and sits in the sun. I mean, he writes, 
He has kids, he has a wife, he has a family. I've heard this from him and I know it to be true. What keeps him coming back is that he knows without the gym, he wouldn't be where he is. Had he not found a gym, he never would have found his path to cinematic greatness. There's just no way, and he will tell you that. I think the shape you're gonna see Sly in for the Expendables is gonna blow you away. I think he's gonna raise the bar. The fact that he's not 28, he's not 38, he's not even 48, you can put him up there against anybody. Against anybody. And let's not forget that Rocky won the Oscar for Best Picture in 1976. This movie is something that he's passionate about, that, you know, he's all in on this. The people who are in it do represent action, physique, uh, over a number of years. They cover a lot of different demographics. I mean, I've seen the trailer for it, I've seen parts of the film, and it's exciting. I'm fired up to go, I'm ready. I will get the popcorn with no butter. The movie comes out August 13th, and I will be there with a pack of friends, that's for sure. I hope you guys do watch The Expendables. I think you're gonna be happy with it. And I certainly don't have to tell Sly to keep working out because you know he's going to. I'm Gunnar Peterson. I'm gonna watch The Expendables. You should too. In fact, I may go right now.